Our first act of defiance winner of the week is Lucas J. Woo! You're here. Yeah. You guys are going to like this. A while ago, I contacted you about me taking an internship with you when I got out of the military. And one of your staff members wrote me back saying that I would be interviewed but would probably not be able to do it. Well, today, I took the first step in getting my conscientious objector discharge. And in some of the questions, I had to say who I gathered my new beliefs from. And I gladly wrote about your videos and podcasts and how you've informed me about the non-aggression principle. So Holy wonderful. shit. Good job. You've made my life so much better, and when I get out, I hope that I could have the honor of fighting for liberty side by side with you. So again, thank you for everything you've done and will do. And I, I am I'm th- this is not just smoke up my own ass here. I'm really proud of this. It is now officially in military records that Adam versus the man was a motivator for someone getting out as a conscientious objector. I that is like one one of my crowning life achievements right there. I've got it on military paperwork. Thanks to Lucas J getting out and telling him this was why. And you know why this is an act of defiance more than just getting conscientious objector status. Cause that in and of itself is a huge act of defiance, but because they want you to play their little games and fill out their forms just the way you're supposed to. Oh, oh, you got religion. That's why you can't be a a soldier anymore. That's why you can't murder for multinational corporations. That's why you can't spread the hate and discontent of the American empire. You got, you got religion and that's okay because that's just a competing mythology. We're okay with that. This is no, you got the message of liberty. You got Adam versus the man, and that's why you became a conscientious objector. Does it make you nervous at all that the military is like, who's this Adam Kokesh guy getting people to use their conscience? Not in the least, because when people hear this message, they get it. When people really hear it, and the more people in the military who are asking, what is Adam versus the man? the better off we are as a country, the yeah. better off the afraid, world is. If you're afraid of that result, you should just not do it then. If yeah, anything, you got to be gonna... so convincing that anyone who's who's investigating you is just going to be immediately voluntary as bam. Yeah. And they won't be able to that's, do anything to that's, you. That's what we can hope for. And, and it really is incredible to see that people in the military are getting this. We've had emails. Uh, the most important one from a guy, uh, the most exciting one for me before this one, from someone at Cherry Point who's an instructor. Uh, an NCO who has some junior Marines working for him and they have a daily political discussion thing and he shares Adam versus the man videos. And that's off the record. That's on the, that's some down on the down low kind of shit. That's what well, we're just kind of doing this when no one's looking, we're going to, we're going to talk about this. This is a guy saying I'm getting out. Adam versus the man. Help me do it. I am so encouraged by this. That is beautiful. Congratulations, Adam. Lord help. Oh shit, I'm nine inches away from your crotch and I'm feeling your penis. 